Some of you may well remember the story of Matthew Shepard, an American college student tortured, beaten and murdered 10 years ago in the small town in US called Laramie in Wyoming. Now, just because he, and, and the, the tragic story about that was, it was just because he was gay. Now, it obviously brought the issue of hate crime to international prominence with a movie and a hugely successful theatre production, highlighting the lessons that society needs to learn. And with me now, I've got Adam Zane of the Hope Theatre Company and Warren Brown, a member of the company, and they're bringing an updated version of the story to the Lowry Theatre this Monday. Guys, thank you very much for coming in. Much appreciated. Thank you. Adam, we'll to come to you first, if that's OK. If, can you tell us, obviously, it was such an important case in America. Can you tell me why the Matthew Shepard case was so important and, of course, your involvement in the Laramie Project? Um, it, was a, it was a really shocking case and... Um, it was really because Matthew was just a regular boy next door um, and people couldn't quite believe that um, his murder was so brutal. Mm. Um, and it just kind of sent shockwaves around the world, really. Um, there were vigils held across the world and eventually the play was written and now it's the second most performed play in America. Yeah. Mm. And I think obviously the, the thing to focus on was because Matthew's murder was essentially because of his, his uh, homosexuality, that really kind of brought the, a, a, a nation sort of came around this issue of hate crime. Yeah. And, uh, and, and therefore, can you tell us a little bit about the Laramie Project subsequently after that, the theatre production? Well, the play follows um, how the town coped with this brutal hate crime in the year after, the, after it happened. Yeah. Um, and a group of actors from New York went to interview people of the town and then they edited those interviews into the play The Laramie Project. Right, so it's all based on, obviously, transcripts of the original people. Yeah, everything you hear um, is actually said by someone in the town. Yeah, and, and what was your original involvement, and how did you get involved in the project? I know then Warren was involved in your first production of the Laramie Project in the UK. Yeah, it, it was really one of those moments where you read something and you go, I have to do this play. Yeah. And um, I kind of passed it to my um, partner and, and my best friend, and they were going, you have to do this. You have yeah. to bring it to Manchester. So... Um, we did, and, we, and we, that's how my theatre company started, was because of the Laramie Project. And obviously, when you were involved in that very first production, how did you get involved in the, in the project? Um, I think at the time when it, was, when it was first going out, Adam was just looking for another couple of actors, and um, somebody recommended me. Um, so you were a last-minute addition then? That's pre pretty much. <laughs> that, yeah. them, them's the breaks. Pretty much, yeah, but it was, um, no, it was one of the first sort of bits of professional theatre that I'd done. Yeah. Um, and, and sort of led to me, you know, working as well afterwards. So it was... Involved in the first one and only too happy to come back and be involved in the, in the epilogue. So it's sort of interesting for you, isn't it, since your first involvement and now involvement in, the, in this sort of epilogue, this new rendition, the updating of, of the original performance. Obviously a lot of things happened for you in the meantime there. You've been on occupation. Yeah. And uh, yeah, dead set a lot of things in, in the middle. And yet you still feel the need to come back and, and, and be part of this next project. Obviously Absolutely. Yeah, like I say, cause, because it was you know, one of the first bits of theatre, but also because I thought it was an absolutely fantastic piece and, and a real... You know, strong messages that needed to be put out there. Yeah. Um, and yeah, and, and sort of since I, I have done the Laramie Project, the original, I've sort of been fortunate enough to get quite a bit of work, um, sort of TV wise. Thank you. There's a wry smirk in there, in there. <laughs> Fair oh. enough. Thoroughly deserved. I'm, I'm still just waiting to get found out. That's yeah, all. No. <laughs> And if you can tell us a little bit about then the epilogue, which is this 10 years on, it's, it's the Lowry Project 10 years on, but yeah. on Monday at the Lowry, it's, it's quite an interesting event though in itself, isn't it? Yeah, it's, um, we're doing the UK premiere, but it's actually happening in over 150 theatres across the world. Yeah. Um, so every state in America is putting on um, the play on the same night. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we, just, we were asked to do the play in the UK and do the premiere, so I'm glad that it's come to Manchester. You've had quite a few interesting sort of contributors or benefactors as well, should I say. A lot of people have kind of got in touch or, yeah, or mean, been cajoled to get in touch correctly. Yeah, Maybe yeah we, uh, it. We, um, we struggled um, because it was such short notice that we got invited to do it. Yeah. So we had a big fundraising campaign and, yeah, we've a lot of friends and family and celebs... I don't know why I looked at you when I said celeb. Um, <laughs> <laughs> celebs have kind of like supported us and uh, donated, so yeah, yeah, we're able to bring it to Manchester. And what kind of people do you think the, the performance is aimed at? I mean, uh, with the original production, like you said, do you think is it people that have seen that are going to want to see this epilogue, or do you think it's a whole new bunch of people that you're, you're aiming at? I think the production it's at? a whole new bunch of people because I think in the Northwest, because of the Michael Causa case, mm. I think there has been a lot of discussion about hate crime. Um, and on the night, on Monday, we've got um, Greater Manchester Police, we've got schools, um, gay youth groups coming down so that we can kind of start a real dialogue about hate crime in the North West. 
have you found that that has been the kind of main product of the play is that kind of a dialogue about the subject matter is that, is that really the main aim at, at the end of the day well i mean uh, well it's a great play mm. i mean and it's a very entertaining play and it's very dramatic and just coming from rehearsals today we're all kind of fired up about the actual play yeah um but i think if i can do a play that then sparks discussion and kind of changes people how how they view an issue like hate crime then yeah. that's all the better for me oh super i mean i actually kind of feel the need to kind of fess up actually obviously mm -hmm. i seem to know a little bit more about this topic than than usual because obviously I, I emailed to you asking if i could be in it <laughs> yeah. which is there's a little a little message out there to any potential actors if you believe in something just send a really groveling email that uh, says all the right things yeah. but obviously i'm involved in the production as well and yeah. obviously delighted to to be there and you were the last actor we saw really well that and you I'm came the only, in on the i was the only one you needed to see really at the end of the day i don't Absolutely. really if i'd have been the first it'd have been a one-man show that's all i'm saying warren <laughs> never mind about that but also i think it, the, it is on Monday, like we mentioned, yeah. Monday there's two performances. Are there tickets left for the performance? There are tickets left for the five o'clock show right. and the eight o'clock show. Um, but yeah, I'm just really excited that we're here in Manchester doing it. We Super. got the UK premiere, not London. The it's only great. one. There you are. That's something as well. <laughs> Flying in the face. Thank you very much for coming in, guys, and thank you very much for the part, Adam. Yeah, thanks for that. <laughs>